Okay, so as I was kind of going through that stuff, taking pictures, getting stuff ready for Facebook Marketplace, there's this little plastic bag that had like these little miniature dice or something else, whatever, whatever is in here. But, at a closer look, we're gonna check to see if these are real. Okay, camera's acting up a little bit, but came up with this guy. Little skull. Got a box right here. Put this guy in so it don't get messed up in here. I don't know what this is, but I think I'll pick it up. Really when we get home. Well, I had to park a little bit of ways because uh, this car is in the way over here, but I think these are two little nightstands. They don't look too bad. I'm going to pick these up. Yeah, they could be refinished. Yeah, they could be redone. <laughs> Just gonna line them up like that for now. They better slide around on me. Before we head on out. We've got a bunch of clothes in there. I'm gonna pick those up too. And we'll rearrange this as we get more stuff. I'm definitely going to get these. Put this up in here. Okay. Take these t-shirts. And clothes, see what else is in there. I don't know. Alright, here we go. Nope. Too crunchy. Looks like it's going to be a furniture kind of day. Shelves. That's a little bit heavy too. It's a good bike. It's a good little bike. Come up a little pile here. Little pile, little pile. Let's see if there's anything worth taking. Little bag. It felt a little heavy. I thought I was going to be in there. Oh, 
somewhat. I'm gonna hold on to the box. Just in case I come up with a wee later on. Let's see how the box goes with it. in here. grow some money especially with the bag there now let's see definitely need those to grab these. Some more Skylanders. Some more there.
Hmm. It's never been open. Okay. Open bottle tequila. Oh. I was hoping. Yeah, see, this is very, um, got a bunch of different stuff in here. I like this hard hat, though. Unopened bottle of tequila. Like it might be good. <clears throat> Just because there's like other decent looking stuff in here. So, yeah. It's okay. Sucker's heavy. Wow, look at that. Is that something? Oh, <laughs> brain. Yeah. 
bowling ball's messed up. This is definitely going. Oh, this is a battery on here. Yeah, we'll take one of these. We will take this guy. Let's see. Yes. Take this stuff. I think this is going to do it.
this nice little thing right here. Now obviously we're not going to find nothing right. Wrong, look at that. That's probably gold, probably gold. Scraps, but... Ooh, and there's stuff back there. There's stuff in the back. So we are going to... Ooh, this guy's heavy. Um... I'm going to make some space, so I'm going to shut off the camera and uh, move some stuff around here so I can get this thing up here. Alright, so we got some furniture over here. <sighs> A lot of it's no good, but like some of these Ottomans are still in good condition, so I'm not going to take all of it. But I'm going to take it good. I am going to take it good. This is no good. This is tore up. But I'm wondering if I need to take any cushions for those seats. These are for the chairs. I think we can fit on the yeah, I think so. I'm gonna take two cushions. I'll leave the rest there. Ah, uh, it's a clock. Does it work though? We'll give it a try. It might work.
のにね I don't know about these. They're like, they're like beanbag chairs. But, um, I don't know, room, which is a good thing. Alright. Let's take a look guys. It's been quite a while since I've had a night like this where I just completely loaded up. I mean, you could tell I me mean, this whole back load up here. And I mean, look at this trailer. Completely filled up. So, very good night. Um, you know what I want to do? Let's see. I want to go through this right now. We had some stuff. Hold on, let me put this back on. All right, so all this stuff was at the bottom underneath here because. You always got to search the bottom of the drawers and although I don't think there's anything in here, there's a little bag of I don't think there's anything in here either. So I might have got skunked. <laughs> so. There's some little earrings, but nothing. There were little pieces of like, like these little pieces right here might be gold. I don't know if you can see that. Like that little piece might be gold. This little earring might be gold. That little ring might be gold. That's really about it. I put this back in here. I didn't go through all the drawers, so I guess we're gonna open them all up just to see. This one had a dime. Does this one come out? Yeah, this one comes out. I can get this one to come out. Does it come out or is it a dummy drawer? No, it's just a dummy drawer. It looks like it came out though. Yeah, this is just a dummy drawer. Alright, um, these down here. Sorry about that. Nothing here. Nothing there. There's nothing here, but there is some stuff down here as well. But this looks like it's a bunch of paperwork. Yeah. This is just paperwork. I don't think we're going to find anything in there. Nope. Well, unfortunately, no jewelry. Kind of chewed up right here. I was kind of disappointed by that, but I don't know. We still might be able to get a little bit of money for it. Even though it's a, a little bit damaged up. It's decent other than that. But man, what a night. A whole bunch of stuff, guys. We have a lot to go through. I'm telling you right now, these, man, most of these toys, 
Well, I can say right now, this, probably this whole tub of toys, this is all that's going to get donated. Really not in the mood for selling toys right now. Um, I'll probably keep, like, you know, a big radio flyer. See if I can get it to work. You know? I'll have to find some kind of charger for this. Nothing. Alright, I'm going to unload all this stuff, guys. Get it put in the storage unit. And we'll look back at this tomorrow or the next day. But uh, man, it's a hot one. Like seven like seven inches from the midday sun. Wow. Speaking of hot ones, look at all this great stuff that we found last night, guys. One of the best nights I've had in a very long time as far as amount of quantity and quality. Uh, sometimes we find a lot of little stuff. Sometimes we find a couple good things. But we found a lot of good stuff today. Or last night. So, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough. We, this is all the big stuff that we found. I'll be honest with you guys. All these toys, this is all going straight to um, Forgotten Angels. Along with these shoes. Because, um, yeah, there's some, there's some good shoes in here. I mean, I know somebody else is like, wow, these little Nike little shoes are here. Someone spoiled their kids, I'll tell you what. Look at that, Michael Kors little kid shoes. I don't even know they made Michael Kors little kid shoes. These are good shoes. So, I just don't have time to go through all these and get them all priced and stuff. As y'all know, as most of y'all know, I do this very much part-time. This is not my full-time job. I've got a full-time job for those who need to know. Um, I do work in the oil and gas field and I stay busy working 12 hours a day, working nights and days, working shift work. And I do this uh, when I can. Um, I've tried to get more consistent and make a video every week for y'all. Um, Cause uh, I'll be honest, man, sometimes it's, it's a struggle to get this video in, but um, I don't mind, I like doing it, but uh, this is not my full-time job. Some people say, wow, I can't believe you, you could have sold all this stuff. Yeah, I could have, but you know what? If I donate that and they sell it for a decent price there, they make a little bit of money, and then a reseller buys it and they flip it, you know, it's, uh, it's a circle of life of, of thrifting and giving, so I don't mind. With that being said, I do want to wish my wife a very special 22-year anniversary. Today's September 7th, and uh, we celebrate 22 years a day. So, um, y'all leave a comment down for me and my wife celebrating 22 years of a beautiful marriage. I love you, baby, and I hope for 22 more. That being said, let's get on to it, guys. Let's get on to it. So, we're going to start over here with the kids' stuff and looking at the bikes. This right here is a Test 20 Diamondback bicycle. These Diamondback bicycles are... Uh, you're gonna see, I'm gonna put comps right here. They're pretty good, they, got, they get some good uh, good comps. You got these little tykes. It's a little kid's tricycle. And uh, there's this thing back over here, I don't know what it's for. I'm gonna have to look into that. Maybe for bubbles, I don't know. That's the first thing I thought of, I could be wrong. You have this little cute umbrella chair with the rainbows on there. Really cute little chair. You got the Royal Kingdom. That's the only thing I'm going to keep out of those toys uh, is that guy right there. I don't know. I'm not even done it. I might just change my mind, but I wanted to put it over here because it's kind of nice to put it separate so you guys can get a good look at it. It's like a little kitchen. A little chandelier clock, stove, all that good stuff. I'll probably just go ahead and donate it, guys, to be honest with you. All right, moving on. And excuse that uh, helicopter. We've got it's a little plane. But we got an airport right, right over there. And these planes circle around and they land over there. So that's why I hear planes over here a lot. Got the trash can for the trash man. This guy was a cool pickup right here. You got the cow skull. I know a lot of people don't like uh, stuff like this, but you know what? It's already been, uh, the deed is done. The deed is done by, like, by the time I get it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this guy at the booth. They always sell. Got this really nice 
You got this really nice, it's a like a napkin box holder. Those are Kirkland's for $60, on sale for 40 bucks. For Kleenex, you put the Kleenex on top of that. I don't know, I'm gonna see if Iris wants it. We don't keep Kleenexes this big around the house. She usually keeps little ones by, by her bed. But we'll see. I didn't videotape this. A bunch of little uh, soup bowls. I don't know if they're vintage or not. Made in USA might be. Got three of those. Of course, I remember the jewelry box. Got a little bit excited there when I saw the stuff at the bottom. Um, obviously, there wasn't anything in there, but it's okay. We still got the jewelry box. We'll be able to get a few bucks for it. The bottom's kind of worn out. It's going to drop the value in it a little bit. Well, maybe quite a bit. All right, moving on. The locomotive. This is a Peg Perigo Santa Fe train. It's the locomotive passenger uh cart and then the caboose and then you've got all the tracks right there i'll have to plug that sucker in to see if it works you got the radio flyer race car uh this one i did not see any charger um i'll probably have to look through that box those boxes to make sure it's not in there before i donate them because i, I want to say that's where i got this from but this is a nice little race car if someone can get the charger and battery you know i'd sell it for real cheap and uh i mean that's it's pretty good pretty good buy right there I want to say these are just like beanbag chairs for kids. Let's see. Designed and filled in the USA. Comfort Research. Comfortresearch.com. So maybe, I don't know. I, I'm thinking that's what they are. Just like little beanbags or maybe little cuddle buddies. I don't know <laughs> if that's a thing. But the two sharks. I like them. You got the two wicker like seats right here. The wicker itself is in great condition. The cushions are a little faded. I went ahead and picked up the cushions just in case if someone wanted just to reupholster those. Maybe even use them as is or put a cover on them. I'm not sure if they make covers for these things or not. I usually don't take the cushions, but in this case, being that they're so big, um, I thought it might be worthwhile just getting them because uh, I think buying those brand new would be a lot more expensive than just getting them reupholstered, but I could be wrong. Uh, let's go over here to the back side. You see you got that clock. Need to, need to test that if it works. There's another plane. I don't know if I can even see it. Alright. Got this guy here. These are like wedge seats. These are real nice. Almost. I almost thinking about keeping them. I don't know. They look real nice. You can put them in like a half circle or semi-circle. Or you can put them individually. You can button them up against those chairs over there and make like a a long section you do all sorts of stuff there's just the cushion colors are different this is like a tan color this is a nice trunk this is probably one of the nicer trunks that i found a lot of times you find these ones that are like you know real cheapos and uh you can tell by the hardware this, this is heavy duty hardware you know this is not a cheap one it says cn foot lockers look at that man this one is super clean CN foot lockers. So I'll put comps here because I've never really heard of this brand. But as you can tell guys, heavy metal on the uh on the framework there. It's not that cheap little thin aluminum or whatever they use. This is, this is heavy. Look at the handles. This is heavy dude right here, guys. Alright, moving on to this side with the furniture. I put this one on its side it obviously goes like this it's by a company called ecr kids ecr for kids um i guess for you know a little shelf for, for toys and stuff like that you have the two nightstands these i'm gonna let go for real cheap because um they need a lot of work on the on the railing system for them to slide in and out a lot of them are broke so someone's gonna have to put a little bit of work into these i'll probably let the set go for 20 bucks to be honest with you just to get rid of them and let's see did i forget anything oh yeah mr snowman guys honestly this is probably my favorite find right here it's uh chimenea with a, you know he's a snowman and this is this is a really nice guy i mean just in time for christmas you know i usually don't pick up christmas stuff but stuff like this i absolutely pick up i bet you anything this guy probably cost about 200 dollars brand new 
you know, it's in excellent condition. Usually when you find stuff like this, the chimneys are cracked along the side. This one has some paint chip, chip in here and there. But, I mean, but other than that, this guy is in excellent condition. Uh, it doesn't look like it's ever had been burned in. It doesn't look burnt in there. It just looks clean. They probably just set this up by the front door and left it there, so... We'll see. That might be something that Irish wants to keep. We've had the small ones. I mean, they have these little chimneys that are about this big. About, maybe about a third of a size. We had three of them. And uh, we thought we'd keep them using them. We never did. We put them to the booth and uh, they sold there. All right. Now going on to this last stuff. We've got about four bags back there that I want to go through. I don't think I'll be going through them here at the storage unit. What I'm going to do is take pictures of all this stuff. Get this stuff back in my unit. And uh take this stuff to the house park underneath the tree and go through this stuff in the tree because this sun is blistering and unforgiving so uh what else oh yeah i want to show you this box this box i do want to go through here um well you know what we'll go through it at home i want to show you guys look how hot it is out here iphone won't even turn on okay so as i was kind of going through that stuff taking pictures getting stuff ready for facebook marketplace you remember that jewelry box and then when i was digging out those bags and all that stuff well i think you can see it in the video but there's this little plastic bag that had like these little miniature dice or something else whatever whatever is in here but at a closer look we're gonna check to see if these are real all right guys so there are the two little stones uh, i just got this turned on uh, they are pretty good sized stones. I don't think they're real though. Just judging by the way that they are refracting. It looks more like a CZ. So we're going to put this against here. And nope. And nope. Well, they didn't look like it when I took them out of the bag. I'm going to put them up here so my hands so you can get a real good look at them. They look real pretty though. Almost too perfect, which made me think that they weren't. But one day we'll find a real one. All right, guys, we're gonna get right into this stuff here. Um, <clears throat> might not go as in depth as I want to on each bag because I'm running short on time. I gotta be done in about an hour or less. Less, let's say less, because I gotta get ready for work. So, without further ado, Start off with Halloween costume. Yeah, that's that bag that we had. So Vera Bradley. Got some dishware. Under Armour lunchbox. All of that. Can't get rid of those vases to be honest with you. That's why they're in here. Okay. Go penny. Looks like stuff from the mail. These are no name, no names. A bunch of broken glass in here. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep this costume because it's real dirty. Let me show you what I mean. See that? That all came off from that bag. And a lot of that costume had that stuff in there. So I'm gonna throw that costume away. Let's get on to the next bag. All right. This one had a bunch of clothes in it. Maui. This is vintage. Oh, this is vintage. It's a vintage Maui shirt. 
Looks like a single stitch. Yep, single stitch. It's pretty good. Then we'll have a bunch of those. Huh. These are not vintage. Tommy Bahama. That's a good t-shirt though. Tommy Bahama. Polo. This one is vintage single stitch polo shirt. Uh, that one is raggedy. Looks like a bunch of another Tommy Bahama. Texans t-shirt. Under Armour. Nike. Um, what is this one? Performance. It's like a Academy brand. Under, Under Armour. Got a bunch of shirts. Another Tommy Bahama. Man, these Tommy Bahamas are nice. They're not, they're not cheap. They don't fit me though. XL. Bunch of nice shirts. So, a bunch of shirts. Another Tommy Bahama. Man, there's a lot of Tommy Bahama. So, we'll go through all these. I drink, I grill, and I know things. <laughs> Yeah, Tommy Bahama big time score. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these all back and go to the next bag. All right, this bag here looked actually pretty, pretty interesting. Had a bunch of different stuff in here. Let's see. This guy's just cool, cool stuff. So I don't know how much of this is gonna be any good. Nineteen ninety. That might be collectible. It's a Lego book. It's vintage. Nothing in here. This bag. This is what was. This is what was weighing it down. <laughs> a bunch of miscellaneous cables. That's cool. It's kind of neat. Let's see. Ooh, cross pin. Well, the pin's in here. Some of these could be worth some money if they're gold plated. So we'll take a closer look at that one. Another cross pin. This one's in better condition. As you can see. All right, so it's starting to look a little bit better. Ethernet, Ethernet cables you can find everywhere. So it's in here. This is a. This is from Germany. I'm gonna take a look at this one. A lot of times these are kind of just junk, but genuine leather. And they're all stamped Germany, so this could be vintage. I'll take a look at this. This could be worth some money. And uh, sorry if y'all didn't get a good look at it. It's, you know, one of these sets, do your fingernails and stuff. It's by a company called Special Triple Cut Germany. <laughs> Julio Iglesias. Dion Warwick, LV. I don't know. I think that's LV. I don't know. I never heard of this lady. Yeah, there's so much in here. 
yeah i'm not seeing anything that's just really good so i'm gonna go through this real carefully off camera and i'll let you know if i find anything all right so there really wasn't too much else in that bag a couple of tapes some more of these uh lego magazines and this is kind of neat uh sterling silver uh bookmarker and uh yeah that's it right there i'm not gonna go through this bag guys this y'all saw was in here that was the uh the backpack had some shoes uh y'all saw it at the beginning and uh let me see a couple other things i'm going to go through about rack over here yeah okay so this box this box and y'all remember the skylanders you remember that bottle of tequila that empty box for the nintendo wii and this stuff so you had a tom tom with all these attachments but there was a bunch of change down over here and the lovely miss iris has made her presence hi everybody so happy anniversary baby happy anniversary <laughs> so she's at work y'all check out her new jeep guys so she just got this uh, a couple weeks ago and uh man she's loving it she uh traded in her acadia and got this guy right here so nice little jeep so yeah look at all this same thing she got some some looks like new cartridges and I don't see anything else other than all this change. There's a bunch of changes, a bunch of little dimes, and what have you. So, quarters. There's a bunch of little money in there. It's probably about three or four bucks of what's changing there. And that's going to do it for today.